Uh, my name is Donovan Mutchler. I'm a member of West Hill Park Baptist Church in Regina, Saskatchewan. And my church three years ago uh, went into a partnership with uh, Step Ministries, specifically with the churches in uh, southern Bolivia. And the uh, mandate of, of uh, that agreement, of that partnership, is for the church to commit to sending at least one step team, one short-term mission team, into the field in southern Bolivia. When this was first announced, I thought, no, absolutely not. I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of guy where I'm a homebody, I'm an introvert, there's no possible way, not a chance in this world that I would ever consider leaving my comfort zone, my country, and going someplace else. I'm not missionary material. But uh, after, after a couple more times of hearing uh, announcements about it and a call for interest, I started to get that feeling that maybe this is something that, uh, that God is calling me to. It became so powerful that um, I had no choice but to say yes. It took two times. Uh, that we sent one team uh, two years ago to Bolivia, and it took me so long to make my decision that I missed the chance to go on that particular trip. But uh, I've just now come back from, uh, from a two-week uh, experience in Bolivia with our uh, Baptist brothers and sisters there. And I can't wait to go back. It was such a marvelous experience. And uh, I, I'm excited to tell all my friends who are introverts too that, hey, you know what? Uh, don't, don't count it out because God has, uh, God has plans that supersede my comfort zone. And uh, it was amazing how comfortable I was even there um, never having any downtime, uh, to really to speak of, but uh, always on the go and always experiencing people. And it was such a marvelous experience that um, I tell my friends, you know, they ask me, what, uh, what was it like? How was your trip? And, uh, and usually I'm using the word life-changing to, uh, to describe it because it really was for me. Um, I also tell people that uh, if, if I didn't have family back in Canada that are waiting patiently for me to, uh, to come home, I probably would have found a phone and called my boss and said, you know, I think I need to stay down here for three months, maybe a year, and uh, continue to, uh, to do the things that we're doing. It was, uh, it was that life-changing to me.